The world may contain a lot of identical objects such as cars, buildings, wheels, electricity, pylons, etc. Usual way to make identical objects is to clone a node or a node hierarchy by moving it with the shift key pressed or create a new one from the same asset by dragging it to the scene viewport. If we decide to change something in all the copies, we'll have to modify each of them individually, just like with these wheels. Instead of making multiple copies of an object, it is recommended to use instancing. In this case, we can modify a single instance and then apply our changes to all objects in a single click. In Unigen, objects instances are created using node references. Let's use the wheels of our minivan to illustrate the concept. First, we need to convert the desired node to a node reference. To do so, simply drag the node to the desired folder in the Asset Browser. Our wheel has just been saved as Node Asset to the current folder, and the corresponding node in the world was automatically replaced with a reference to this asset. We can create node references by dragging the source Node Asset to the Scene Viewport, and we can clone them as other nodes by moving with the Shift key pressed. All of these instances refer to the same source node asset, which contains the original object. Let's replace other wheels with the node references. If we decide to change something in the source node, we can do that by editing any of its instances. Just select a corresponding node reference and click Edit in the Parameters window. The contents of the source node will be displayed. Now we're free to make any changes. Let's change the scale, for example. When we're done, we just select the parent node reference in the World Hierarchy window and click Apply to confirm our changes. As you see, the changes are applied to all instances at once. You can also discard any unwanted changes, like this rotation of the wheel, by selecting the parent node reference and clicking Cancel. Replacing the contents of a node reference is also easy. In the editing mode, we just change the contents and click Apply. We can create complex instanced objects by using node hierarchies and nested node references. We just right-click the root node of the hierarchy that we want to use in the World Hierarchy window and select Create a Node Reference, or simply drag it to the Asset Browser as we did before. A new node asset will be created and our hierarchy in the world will be replaced with a reference to this asset. Now we can make as many minivans as we want. We can modify all wheels in the world at once by editing any of the corresponding nested node references. Or we can apply transformations selectively, like for these front wheels. Thus, node references offer a great deal of flexibility. Sometimes we may need to extract the contents of a certain node asset. To do so, just right-click it and select Place as Node Content. All contents will be added to the world hierarchy. We can also use Place as Node Layer to add the contents of the selected node asset to a new node layer to facilitate collaborative work. Node reference-based instancing ensures integrity when changing the parameters of the repeatedly used objects, especially if they are complex and sophisticated.